Hello chat boys out there, today in this video I'm just going to be telling you guys about what I got to on my Monday, Tuesday and my Wednesday. So on my Monday I got up ready for the day ahead and I had a nice refreshing shower and I had some seal. I was watching a bit of TV and listening to a bit of music. I just to my PJs just on a bit of a chilled morning and FaceTimed my best mate who's just moved to where I live and I was like do you want to go out and get some coffee and I had to have some errands one anyway so I was like might as well go out there while I'm one of my errands but unfortunately he's busy unpacking for moving house so I was like okay I'll do it another day don't worry so I went off to do these errands. I had to get a running card from my colleagues who's getting married on Saturday and I then went and put one of the charge shops. I went and got my wages from work but they weren't ready yet so I went off and just had a little look around the shops while I was waiting and I bumped into one of my old teachers and bumped into one of my people I get in one group with who's told me that we're going to be doing some arts and crafts and making elephants out of milk cartons so I've got to bring one in on Friday which I'm looking forward to and a bit of arts and crafts and then I bumped into my aunt and uncle so that was nice, I had a chat with them and I then went to one of the play shops where I got a nice green t-shirt and I love it it is this one here, I'm just trying to show it. Gosh. The reason I'm talking currently is because it's currently in the evening. My office I'm filming at at the moment, which I showed you in a tour when I cleaned it all up, is in the hallway of my house. And my mum and dad's bedroom is right over there, so I'll probably sleep. So I don't want to be talking too loudly or oh, wake the whole house up. But it's in the hallway of my house, and normally the living room's just right there, so normally. I can't really film in the daytime because the teeth will be blasting out whatever they'll be watching, all the music will be playing the dog will be barking the door will be being opened and shut people coming in, it's always like picking to the circus the phone will be ringing it's always crazy in this house that's what it's, it's like that's what it's like with a big family it's my nice new top it's nice green colour it's I don't know what they call it, it's like a circle neck I think it's a circle or over neck, whatever. I'm not a big fan of v necks, and yeah, I like this style of neck instead. The circle neck, I think it's called. I don't know, but yeah, I'm going to be putting that in the wash because it's going to be wearing that after it's been in this shop for god knows how long. And yeah, good charge shop find that. Then I almost forgot to show you these. Got some cards from the card factory, only 99p bloody love card. Never know when you're going to need them because I've got a big family like I said so there's always a birthday going on. There was one that said shake your tail feathers and it was like a burlesque like silhouette and it had like really cool little feathers on the back. Really coolly illustrated but unfortunately they had one out of those. So they put those in this drawer here. I played out all these doors so I've got so much room left now and yeah I'm definitely going to be using those for birthday cards. I went in and got my wages and I was chatting to one of my colleagues who I haven't worked with for a while. He is going to be working with me on the Saturday because he's working evenings and I normally work in the daytime. I'm doing an evening shift on Thursday, which I'm very excited about. I did an evening shift before, but I only ended up doing two hours because it was very quiet. And I went to Greg's and got myself a cheeky Greg's, trying to cut down, so trying to get into shape. And next month I start touch rugby again, so I'm really looking forward to that. So that will help me. I've been trying to do a lot of walking stuff and just trying not to eat too much crap food, but it's a struggle because Junk food is just so good, but yeah, I need to try and cut down all the all the coffee ones and stuff. I also went to Costco 
when I got out of the high street, I went to fuck for an hour of uh, a choice plane cake and a camel frappe and saw one of the dads of someone I, went, I go to morning boot with. So I had a nice chat with him. And then I got a just was chatting to my colleagues who I am working with on Saturday, I think maybe Sunday as well. And I just chatted about him about the Sunday I had where it was super busy, there was plans everywhere, dogs everywhere, babies in prams or high chairs, it was very hectic, so I did make a few little mistakes. But I've only just started at my workplace. I've only been working there for two months and a bit. So we're all gonna have so it's still a bit new and so it's gonna it was a bit like I was a bit stressed out but I just wanted to stay calm and I did feel a bit good because I didn't feel I don't want to feel like I'm letting them down and so it did I was a bit disheartened and one of my colleagues messaged me earlier on saying so I might have snapped you a bit because it was very stressful so tensions were high it was all a bit busy and I was like no it's fine don't worry I just need to remember to listen out for the bow but it's a bit hard because there's a bow for the drinks and also a bow for the food orders so you're like was it the bow for the food or the bow for the drinks so I just need to learn to wait for the bow for the food and just not take the food until the bowels has been wrong for it to be ready to take up to the tables and also to remember to read the tickets that have the food orders and where the tables are. It was a bit frustrating because I had a refurb a few weeks back and so quite a few of the tables have changed so that's still a bit confusing so I've still got to get a hold of that because I only just got them all in my head and you know you're fully invested in a job and you then start having dreams about it. I had a dream last night where the tables were piling up with plates and cups and glass and it was just the game the piles are getting taller and taller and I was just like, Oh my gosh. No escape. I can't escape it even when I'm at home asleep trying to relax. And yeah, I'm absolutely loving work. It's so great. I love how they've taken me in under their wings and I feel like I've worked there a lot longer than I have. The staff are great. I've been on so many staff outings already. Before this, I barely had a social life, and now my social life is booming, which is great. And I just really don't want to make any mistakes or anything. But that's how we learn. I've just got. To, I can't. If you spent your whole life trying not to make mistakes, you'd have no life at all. You've got to make mistakes because that's how you learn and get better and evolve. So yeah, I am a bit nervous about my first proper first evening shift because I only did like two hours last time because it wasn't very busy. And yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. And yeah, I just got to breathe, take it slow. The thing is, my mum says this and I think it is true. At first I was like, oh, no, it's not. I do try and like get everything done at once. Before I can find that, I really need a beard shave. My beard is literally getting crazy. And yeah, I... My hair's all of a sudden... At first I said I want to shave off, but at the moment I think my hair is actually being quite good. I have a good hair day at the moment, which is good. I hate these people who just naturally have good hair, no matter what rough, bad weather, good hair. Anything. I'm just like, why can't my hair be good like that? And yeah, I... Then got back on Monday evening and I showed my mum and dad the t shirt I got. My dad's got this flu kind of thing where his back is really aching at the moment. And I think the flu kind of coldy kind of thing's gone now, but his back is still really bad. So he was just resting up. And my younger brother's girlfriend was over. She arrived just as I was going off to the high street. And she'd passed one of her exams for her accountancy that she does. I think, yes, yeah, she's an accountant. And so she, we were congratulating her on that. And she was just doing some more revision for her accountancy course that she's on. And my younger brother was back from being at work. Old brother was back from being at work at two. And I went upstairs and was going to be watching some of my TV programs. I watched like Charmed, Sabrina and stuff. I started to start Sabrina when the doorbell went. And it was my best mate who I was supposed to be going to Coffee Run with. He felt bad that he couldn't go, so we ended up going down the road to the anchor, and of course I'm paid, and I got us both 
some cheesy chips, and then we had some. He had a, a few pints. I think he had a pint or two, and I had a pint and an, of not a pint. I had a drink of J two O or pint. Can have a pint of J two O. Who knows? Yeah, you can a pint of J two O and another pint of J two O or drink. What do you want to call it? A pint drink. Who knows? And I saw one of my funny friends' ex husband in the restaurant, and he is a bit. So me and my mate were just I was like didn't want to go on because I didn't want him to see me because he knows me well but I was just like don't want him to notice me so I was trying to, like, hide, trying to like, hide around the table and he went off he was just being so loud and very loud I think he might have been a bit drunk to be honest and then our mate came over from being as and she was at a well we thought she was going to be having a Mexican no, yeah a type of food, Mexican or Indian food, like food out and like wine and stuff or like Thai food, I'm not quite sure, she was eating out somewhere but she's not doing that now so she was able to come and we had a nice catch up and then we went back to my house and we had some cups of tea and played the song association game which is so much fun and then today I got up and I had a really nice long refreshing shower and had some toast and a cup of tea. My dad and the others were at work. I'm not on work till Thursday now, so I get a few days off, which is really good. And I listened to a bit of music, did some drawing, and then watched the Aussie soup. And for my lunch, I had a tuna roll, which was ginormous, and a cup of tea. And then my grandparents came over this afternoon. And we had a nice catch up, and me and my grandma were just talking about all those soaps. And we were just talking about anything else, really, me and my grandparents. And then my grandma made her round in cottage pie, it was delicious. And then they went off home, and in the evening, I watched the soaps and Love Island. Wrote a bit of my journal early on in the day, and I finished writing that, put that away. It's a drawing, and my younger brother is staying at his girlfriend's house. And I am now off to go and watch the next episode of Supernatural. And I watched the next episode of Good Trouble on Wednesday, which was amazing. And I did some arts and craft and listened to a bit of music. And my mum has got her free up for when she's having an operation which is the 19th of February which is also the anniversary episode of EastEnders so at least I'll be watching that and won't be stressing out about my mum's operation as she's got cancer and I think I might have told you this she's got two, two lots of cancer so she's going to be having one operation which she was supposed to be having on the 4th of December but they messed up her pre-op assessment and couldn't find them and then they found them but it was too late because you have to have a, assess a pre -op assessment and it went out after a few months so she's now got to go all the way back in and do it all over again. I'm just really hoping that she gets in and gets this operation because there's ch a chance that she might not be able to if they've not got a cute bed which is a bed for her to have after this because she might have to stay in for a few days after this because it's a bit of a big hop. But I was really peed off because it is a big operation and there was a chance she could die from it always a risk so of course we all saying our goodbyes and stuff helping her saying how how much we love her and stuff and then for them not to then do the operation I was just like what the hell I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in one of my vlogs my vlogmas vlogs but anyway I just really hope she gets this vlog this vlog is operation done now because we've been waiting since last year and I know the NHS is very busy and it could be a bit crazy with like not enough beds and stuff but Luckily it's not like life risking but it's still something that needs to be operated and taken out of the body so I just really hope that we can fingers crossed get this operation over and done with so we can then focus on the next one and we've already started talking about going on holiday to Minehead, good old Minehead, love bit of Minehead, I'm going to be hopefully going there in a the cavern and I said to my mum and dad, because I'm now working and earning, I would probably pay towards the holiday as well. And yeah, it's just my mum and dad was like, we don't want Dan not to have a holiday because, because of my special needs. I can't really go off on my own or anything or go travelling on my own, which I'd love to do, but 
I do need a bit of chastity and a bit of looking after because God knows what I'd end up doing. I'd probably get lost or end up in God knows where. So I need my siblings and stuff. I do have a few friends, but they're all busy. They're like busy stuff. I suppose I could try and we, me and my my best mate. Could, we have been talking about trying to go on a holiday, so we could try and bring that up again. But we're just so busy with work and stuff, and he's doing farming because he works on a farm near to where he used to live. So he's doing that quite a lot. So who knows? Maybe sometime I go with a few of my mates, but at the moment I'm I'm all with my siblings and family holidays. I'm planning on going to Edinburgh with my siblings. I think it's probably going to be October time now because in the summer they've always got lots of festivals and stuff going on in Edinburgh and I'm going to be flying. I haven't flown since I was four so I'll be a little bit nervous but I'll be with my siblings and luckily it's not too long of a journey and the turbulence isn't too bad. I don't think we really, we really get turbulence. It only get turbulence if it's quite high up or I don't think it would be too bad. So hopefully we don't get turbulence because I'll probably be freaking out otherwise. But if my grandma can fly, I'm sure I'd be off to fly as well because she's terrible to fly. She's not too much now because she's always popping over to Ireland and back when she's seeing my auntie and uncle and cousins who live over there. And yeah, I'm not off to go to bed. So I just woke one over a bit. I was just chatting away. Don't call me down the chat box for nothing. I hope you guys all had a lovely week so far. All have a lovely rest of your week. And I shall see you soon with a new vlog very soon. Bye.